higher, Mr. Omiyo. Okay, now uh, let's look at specific latent heat of fusion, which is represented by a small letter L with a subscript F. It is defined as the amount of thermal energy required to change 1 kg of the solid to liquid or vice versa, which is from liquid to solid without a change in temperature. Okay, we can express specific latent heat of fusion uh, in this formula here. Lf is equal to the amount of thermal energy represented by capital letter Q divided by the mass, which is M. Okay, the unit for Q, which is thermal energy, will be Q. And the unit for mass is in kg. The unit for specific latent heat of fusion, in this case, it will be joules per kg. Okay. So in this case, let's say uh, the specific latent heat of fusion of substance X is three hundred thousand joules per kg. What does this mean? Okay, this means that for one kg of X to melt, substance X needs to take in 300,000 joules of energy. Or in another way, we can see as uh, if we want to freeze 1 kg of X, right? Then the 1 kg of substance X has to give away 300,000 joules of energy. Okay? Now let's look at a question and let's try to apply the, the formula. Okay, 2 kg of ice requires 680,000 joules to melt com completely to water. So what is the latent heat of fusion? Latent heat of fusion is equal to the thermal energy required divided by the mass. Okay, so, so the thermal energy requires for, required for the melting is 680,000 joules and the mass is 2 kg. So in this case, we find that the latent heat of fusion is 340,000 joules per kg.